Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, we are looking at a large elevator intersection from LV427. You have seen me review some of their stuff before. This is one of the coolest pieces I have ever seen. Uh, I want to start off by thanking LV427 as well as Midwest Token 3D uh, for making this possible. Of course, it's an LV427 design. If you want to check that out, you can check the links in the description below. Also, if you don't have a 3D printer and you're not interested in just buying STL files directly, if you want to get uh, this printed and sent to you, I'm going to have a link to some of the printing partners down in the video description below. Uh, we're going to show you some of the different pieces that come in this particular set. Uh, and also, we're going to set it up with some additional ones. So this is a really one cool set because it has actually combines with a lot of the other ca uh, categories, the narrow starship, the boarding, uh, you know, all of the different uh, category sets uh, that you can basically get. This is going to be compatible with them, and we're going to show you some of that compatibility in the video. Now, uh, now this set is, uh, you know, got a lot of versatility to it. It's got some doors that are going to open. You've got this entire elevator piece that can come out, uh, which is really, really cool. And we're going to show you all the rest of these pieces uh, in more close-up detail. So let's get into it. Also, if you guys are new here to the channel, another reason for you to check the links in the description below is not just... Uh, to get to LV427 and to check out some of those products yourself. We also have links to our Discord and social media links. And uh, also, if you are, haven't already subscribed and left a comment, that'll enter you to win the $25 Amazon gift card that we have going on right now. So make sure you do that. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and let's get down to this review. So to start things off, this is a larger set. This is a nine-tile interior. So again, if you're used to the uh, the smaller corridors or the more narrow corridors that you can sometimes get, though, Ken, there's there's more narrow and wider corridors that are all available. But this is uh, one of the largest rooms that are available. Again, they does come in nine different tiles. Although this particular piece is multi-set. Uh, the center center piece here is for our elevator. Uh, this is going to be multiple different pieces. We have our kind of nice uh, wall structure here and this is going to be kind of cool if you want to have multiples of these you can have different floors and take the elevator from floor to floor you can even have these all set up on the same table and just move this piece have some of your folks get on board here I'm gonna put some some miniatures in here so you can kind of get an idea of, uh, of, of kind of how they work I've got some stormtroopers for Star Wars Legion and they fit in there just fine and, uh, and then you can, <laughs> they're rolling around them should take better care of my minis than that. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so you know, obviously don't roll them around, stick them in there, have them get on board, and, uh, and then close the door, and then you can have them move around. Um, I, we do have a, like a double-sided door here. You can always, of course, once you've painted this, you can glue it together and uh, make yourself kind of a thicker door, and, uh, and then kind of move this somewhere else. Or you can go with the optional other centerpiece. Now this one, is really cool because if you just want a more of an emptier uh, sort of octagon room, you can have a much bigger empty room this way. And now you can have your big shootouts. You can have lots of room for moving around or putting scatter terrain like these really awesome uh, consoles. These are kind of cool because they can go in the middle of the room or they can go in the sides of the room. You can have a couple of them kind of in the center. Uh, maybe back to back, you have people working at them, or you can put them in other pieces of terrain. Of course, all of this stuff is fully compatible with other LV427 designs, or you can just use it as scatter terrain on your existing Legion maps. But this has kind of got a nice sort of uh, imperial corporate uh, or uh, futuristic computer console design. So very cool. Um, and uh, yeah, you have a lot of options for these. They work really well in the corners or as standalone pieces in rooms as well. So I like having the option for that. Now these these individual pieces, these corner pieces are pretty cool because these do allow for something all new. Uh, if you are used to kind of just the straight uh, 90 degree connections, um, you know, this one is going to allow kind of a 45 degree because usually everything is like up or, you know, up and down or left and right. And now all of a sudden you've got that that northwest or southeast kind of uh, corridor that can, you know, create some interesting design choices. And, and there's also going to be some difficulty in trying can, to connect something that's going diagonal to something that's going straight. And so they have thought of everything because they have optional pieces for that as well. Let's take a look at some of those. All right, so here we've got a corner piece, and this is kind of how the magic happens. You take, uh, you know, these these corner pieces, and you align these together, and this is going to allow something to either go from a, uh, a diagonal to back on the left, right, up and down, sort of northwest, east, east, south um, axis. So very cool stuff. So what we can do is we can do that, and then put another corridor in there like so. 
Uh, and, and again, these all fit together perfectly. This can also work with any of your other pieces as well. So if you have different sets, it's going to be fully compatible. Uh, and that's pretty cool. Now, if you don't want uh, this particular style, they also have the fully open style as well. So this one can connect into both up and down and left and right. And so you have a couple of different options with how you want to get into your corridor. Uh, there are also smaller, like half size uh, rooms, which are really good, especially when you have eight doors like you do on this particular corridor. Um, you have the option of just putting up some walls if you want to just like, you know what, I don't need eight actual places coming apart. Let's just say that that side is a wall and I can leave that one there. But maybe on this other one, I wanted this one just to go back a little bit because maybe it's towards the corner of my board and it would I don't want it to like go off the map. Uh, we have some smaller connection pieces as well. And then we have kind of the three quarter size right here or two thirds size. And, and this one is really nice when you start adding in additional sets because this is going to kind of account for the difference when you're kind of going at an angle because uh, things don't always line up exactly. It's this whole geometry thing. You know, do you remember the Pythagorean theorem? Well, you don't have to because this is the Pythagorean theorem piece that makes it all work together. And I'll explain when I start putting them together. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put them together in a larger set combining with some other sets. All right, so I've went and grabbed a different set, and now we have more of our standard corridors, and of course, maybe this is how we want to get into uh, you know into the elevator corridor. So now um, we we've, we've got our different shootout angles, we've got all of our different lanes here, and uh, and what I want to do in this case, let's go with this one right here, uh, is I want to kind of join them together. The problem, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece right here, and uh, we're we're going to try and join. But if we if we do that, you'll see that. Um, that things don't line up, there's still a little bit of overlap. So this is where our, our kind of shorter piece fits in and makes everything sync up. Again, because we came out at an angle, uh, we we need, you know, we've got like some, some you know, it has to do with uh, the Pythagorean theorem or whatever, because it's a triangle, so we needed a shorter piece. This facilitates all of that and gives you a whole lot of flexibility in how you want all of your different corridor doors to line up. But, uh, but we don't have to have giant uh, long tunnels each. We can do standalone rooms off of them. I'll show you guys another really cool one. I'll turn this one into sort of a, uh, a prison. All right, so here I've kind of set everything up uh, in a larger kind of interconnected platform. I've got my, my prison corridor. So maybe maybe this is kind of like from episode four. They take the elevator up, and then all of a sudden you've got like prisons over on this side. You've got, uh, you know, maybe a cell up there. You can have different prison corridors coming off of every different way if you want as well. So very, very fun options. So here I've got kind of Black Sun trying to break in through the elevator. They've come up, we've got a bunch of uh, Imperials in here in the hallway trying to keep them from their target. They're, they're trying to get into the prison cells where we've got, we've got more Black Sun troops that have maybe been taken prisoner. The Empire kind of impounded them for the spice trade and, uh, and, and they were not happy about that. But they're a little bit outnumbered, uh, and that's where the elevator comes in, because if we look over here on the elevator, look who's standing by. Of course, Darth Maul is going to uh, assist them and come in here and, and kind of take things out and uh, and kind of get everything going, which is very fun. And then they can get back on the elevator and kind of take off to somewhere else. Let's just say, let's say they did that and they're going to be magically whisked away to the next ch chapter, and this is more of an, like an RPG scenario. Of course, there's plenty of rooms for shootouts, uh, you know, and, and, and like you have diagonal lanes right now, or again, swapping out that middle piece. Uh, let's do that real quick. And so here, as you can see, I've got it opened up a lot more. You've got a ton of room in here for maybe, uh, uh, you know, some kind of crashed explosion, split explosive stuff, or you can even, put, if you wanted to run vehicles, again, it, like an ATRT room in the halls or something like that, you can do that. You can put some com uh, computer consoles, you can move those. Uh, kind of to the center if you wanted to do a little bit of that or some crates there's actually a lot of different scatter terrain also available at lv427 uh you know it's a lot of it like industrial corridor type crates and things that would fit in there uh, or if you wanted to say that uh, all of this star wars stuff was just a simulation in your star trek holodeck program you could put the holodeck door right down there and the arch and uh, also LB427. <laughs> so a lot of fun stuff you can do with this. Uh, be sure to check it out. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Uh, it's, uh, you know, I, I love that there's so much variety 
with all of these sets and that they all work together very, very seamlessly. So uh, they're very fun to check out. Um, so again, big thanks to LV427, also Midwest Token 3D for these amazing prints. Honestly, these these are these are, uh, these are excellent, excellent quality. They're just absolutely beautiful. So you should definitely check them out if you're looking to get something 3D printed. I will talk to you guys later. I want to thank you all so much for watching and uh, may the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other. Party on dudes and always wash your socks. I'll see you later.